Okay, so we're going to um, start with our graphing again this week, but this time we're going to be called what's called graphing with inequalities. And we talked about this before, inequality is greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or just the equals. Um, so we're going to look at this first example here. It's y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. So when we first start graphing it, we pretend that that inequality isn't there, and we just graph it like we have been graphing items. So, you know, we look at this, and that's my y, and then we have our equals, and then we have our mx plus, and then b. And so we know the b is our um, starting point here. So we know that the b is at the 1 on the y. So we're going to go over to the 1 on the y and put a point. And then we know that m is the slope. And so that is m equals 2. And remember, that's the same thing as 2 over 1. And so these are both positive. So I'm going to go up 2 in the positive direction and right 1 in the positive direction. And then we're just going to draw our line through there. So here comes my line. And uh, make sure your line extends through the whole graph. And it should have some sort of arrows on the end. I want to make mine go through those points a little bit better. All right. And um, we'll put some arrows up here because it goes on forever. Okay, so the first part of this is like we normally have. But now let's address that there's this less than or equal to sign. Okay, so we want to figure out what points of the graph will be true for this equation. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to look at our origin. So let's erase some of this. Okay. So I'm going to look at the origin, which is 0, 0, 0.00. Okay. And if you look, that's 0, 0.00. 0. And that is on the right-hand side of this line, right? So I'm going to test this point and see if that'll work, okay? Because this is my x-coordinate and this is my y-coordinate. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take this equation, y is less than 2x plus 1. And I'm going to plug in my zero zeros. So if I plug in 0 for y, I got my less than or equal to sign here. And I have 2 times x, and x is going to be 0, 0, or 0 also, and then plus 1. So I took this inequal or this part right here, and I plugged it in for my x and my y. So if I solve that now, I have 0. That's a bad 0. I get used to how I draw my zeros here. 0 is less than or equal to 0 plus 1. Okay? Okay, so now we know, if we look down here, we have 0 is less than or equal to 1. So we have to ask ourselves, is that true? Is 0 smaller than 1? And the answer is true. It is smaller than 1. So what that means is, because this is on this side, of the um, line. It means every point on this side of the line works. Let's say I pick this point 3, oops, 3, 1, okay? I can do the same thing over here. If I plug in 1 for y, and then I plug in 3 for x, that will give me 1 is less than or equal to, this is 6 plus 1 is 7, and that is true too. And if you took any point over here and plugged it into this equation here, it would be true. So what we need to do now to mark that is we just shade. We shade this entire side. And the reason I picked 0, 0 is just it's easy math, okay? Um, if I picked a point on this side, let's say I picked negative 2, um, 3, and I plug that into that equation, I would put in 3 for y less than or equal to uh, 2 times negative 2 plus 1. 
So that would give me 3 is less than or equal to negative 4 plus 1, which gives me 3 is less than or equal to negative 3. Is 3 smaller than negative 3? No. And so that's why the points on this side don't work. So basically, to retrace our steps, we graph it as if it's just the equals. And then I always choose 0, 0 if it's available, just because it's easy math. And if it's true, we shade that side. If it's not true, we would need to shade the other side. So let's look at one other example here. Um. One point I forgot to make is this has an equals to sign. So we drew a nice solid line. And the reason we did that was because all the points on this line are true for this equation also. So if we took oops, um, a point right on this line, let's say we had um, took point, let's see, that's point one, three, and we plugged it in. So we plug in three in for y and one in for x. We would have three is less than or equal to two times one, which is two, plus one is three. And is 3 less than or equal to 3? And the answer would be yes. It's equals to, so that's true. So we have this, all the points on here are true as well. So now let's look at a different type of situation. If we look at this, again, it's in slope-intercept form. So just as I said earlier, we want to um, treat this as if it was y equals 2x minus 5, that should be x. So I'm going to go here and down to my negative 5. Oops, I need to move that down a little bit more. So we change that to y equals 2x minus 5. So again, this is y equals mx plus b. So remember that negative 5 is in the b's. So one, two, three, four, five. Hopefully my head's not in the way. And then we have m again is two, which is two over one. So we go up two over one. Now, this one is a little bit different because if we look at this, it's y is greater than two x plus five. So there was, um, or minus five, excuse me there was no equals to. So that means the points on the line are not included. So when we draw this line, when you draw a greater than sign or less than sign that's not equals to, when we draw the line, we draw it dashed because that means the point, and I know this is not very good, I apologize. So that means um, the points on this line do not make the equation true, okay? Hopefully that should be, I should probably just have used this down here. I think I have a dash line. There we go. I should have done that. There we go. That's better. Okay. So dash. So that means it's not including. Okay. And so then we're going to do our test point the same way. I'm going to pick 0, 0. And I'm going to plug it in here. So I'm going to put 0 in for y. It's greater or less than 2 times 0 minus 5. So again, we have 0 is greater than 2 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 5, which makes it 0 is greater than negative 5. Is that true? Think about it. Is 0 bigger than negative 5? Would you rather have $0 than minus $5 or $05? Yes. So this is true. So that means the 0, 0 is on the top side of this line. So that means all the points here are true for this equation. Okay. That's true. All right. So for your um, homework tonight, you just need to make sure that you have these two examples written down um, and make yourself a little note about the test point. And then we're going to do some practice problems when you come to school tomorrow. So I hope you have a great evening. And I'm sorry I don't have a funny face on. I just didn't have time today. I'm very, very sorry. I will do a funny face tomorrow, I promise. Good night.